Hey YouTube, it's Alex Mac here today, and as you see, I have Remote Desktop running on my Mac right now, and that's what I want to show you guys how to do today. It's a really simple process, so I'm going to go ahead and take you step by step through it right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the rem a Remote Desktop Connection app, um, and this is offered by Windows. Here's the link right here. Or the page rather uh, the link will be down in the description for you it's really easy to find if you if you want to find it yourself I guess uh, all you have to do is down uh, uh, Google search remote desktop Mac and I think it's the second link that pops up um, so here it is all you want to do is click download and install it I think we can all do that so I'm not gonna go ahead and waste the time to go through there uh, the next thing that's really important you do is you go onto your PC and you allow the program to run or allow another computer to control your computer. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to control panel and you're going to want to go to system and security. Here the first thing you want to do is go down to system and click on allow remote desktop. Make sure that allow connections from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication is clicked um, if you do have trouble, you might want to go and click on this one, allow connections from any computer running any version of remote desktop. As, as you see, it says less secure here and more secure. So if, if it is, maybe you, you should start with it here, and then if it's working, then go ahead and change it to the more secure one here. Obviously, one's less secure and one's more secure. Better that you go with the more secure one. Click OK. We're perfect there. Now, go to your Windows firewall and... Uh, these little submenus go allow a program through firewall. Now you're going to scroll through here and you're going to want to find remote desktop. Here it is. And you're going to want to make sure both of these boxes here are clicked. I have remote desktop and remote desktop remote FX both uh, checked to make sure it's going to work smoothly. Once that's done, we have to find the IP address of the PC, not of the Mac, the IP address of the PC that we're going to be connecting to. That's also very simple. All you're going to have to do is go to start, type in CMD or uh, command prompt, press enter, and then we're going to type in uh, the very common command ipconfig, and then press enter. And so here we go, it's going to bring up the, the configuration of the PC on the network, this PC on the network, and we're looking for the IPv4 address, which is right here, and it's going to be 192.168.0.12, so we're going to want to remember that right now, Connect, connecting on the local network, uh, and what I mean by that is, right now I'm sitting in my living room and my, my PC is plugged into Ethernet on my local network, and I'm also on Wi-Fi on the same network. If I want to connect over the Internet, I'm going to have to use the IP address of the router. I'm not showing you guys how to do that right now. I will, however, make a video soon on how to do that. So this is on the local network. I don't think I can state that enough. Local network connection, not internet connection. If you're looking for the internet connection, go to my channel. There'll be one up there. So let's remember this. Sorry, guys. I kind of went on a little bit of a tangent. 192.168.0.12. I need to remember that to connect to my uh, computer, which is what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and we're going to go ahead and try it. So on the Mac, I have remote desktop connection already set to go. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and give you a little flavor of what it's going to look like. So when you first open it, it's going to look a little bit like this. We can go ahead and oh, go over here, preferences. You don't have to do this. I'm going to do this right now. Um, I need to switch my domain to dot .12. All right, so the username. The, this is the username that's going to be on your PC. So the username on my PC is my actual name. It's Ayrton Zotendike. And then the password is also going to be the password that I use to log on to my PC. So when you turn on your PC, it usually asks you for a password. If you don't have a password set, you should set one because 
Um, it's kind of foolish and a little bit dangerous not to, especially if you're doing remote desktop. As far as displays, you can choose your desktop size. I'm running this on my 13-inch MacBook Pro so that I, I have it set pretty low. I wouldn't want anything more than that. Uh, thousands to millions, um, you're going to get a little bit of lag if you go to millions. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'll try that right now. I, I really haven't messed with them that much. Uh, main display, if you have another display connected, of course, it'll switch to another one. Uh, while connected, you can choose uh, any of these options here. Uh, and th these are what are default, so I haven't changed it. Keyboard, keyboard preferences, um, sound, I want it to come through my Mac, drivers, if you need any printers, any of these other things um, that you might need. But the defaults should be fine, so you might not even have to do that. Now come to here, and I want to type in the IP address on the lo local network, 192.168.0. Zero dot twelve, and here we go. So I already have mine set up to include my username. So there it is, right there. And all I have to do is type in my password, which is obviously a secret. And I'm going to press OK or Enter. Give it a second. Mine always gives me this error, but after I press Enter, it works just fine, and I'm on. And that's it, guys. I've got full control of my PC. If, if it is kind of cutting you off, see how it's cutting off the bottom, all you have to do is click on View and do Fit to Window. Or you can always do Full Screen. And that's all there is to it. Press Escape to get out or View. Oh, it's actually F2, I guess. So there we go, guys. That's how you control your PC. And um, go to my YouTube channel if you want to find the video on how to control it over the internet. It's a little bit more work, but not much. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and rate and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Make sure, though, you follow these instructions to the T because um, this will work for you guys. And if it's not working, it could be because you have a different operating system. I don't think I stated this is Windows 7 and Mac. Um, OS X 10.8, um, uh, yeah, Mountain Lion. Um, so, I mean, of course, make sure you're up to date, um, and it should work just fine for you. Anyway, guys, Azaz Mac, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.